Hello there. This is the Apostle, Missionary, Saint, and Brother Rudy Henry from Fresno, California. Um, I just want to let you know that God loves you today. God cares for you, and God is on your side. You know, you may have many gods in your life, many lords in your life, many masters in your life. Uh, I did at one time. At one time, I had different lords and gods and masters and when I was in sin and away from God and in darkness and, and the occult but now I have Jesus Jesus is my Lord Jesus is my master Jesus is my God there's only one God and Jesus is his name um, Jesus loves you today um, he cares for you he sent his son God sent his son in the world to die for you today you can have eternal life um, you can come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior today yeah, I don't care if you're a Zenist, a Hindu, a monk, a Buddhist, a shaman, um, Hare Krishna, it doesn't matter. You know, Jesus loves you. Jesus came into the world to save sinners. The Bible says he left the 99 to find the one. Um, Jesus is just like a lady that lost her coin that sweeps the whole house until she finds it. <clears throat> the Bible says this... Um, Joy in heaven over a sinner that repents. Jesus loves you today. You can have eternal life. Yeah. Uh, there's only one God, and Jesus is his name. The meaning for life is easy. Christ the Lord. Yeah, there's, not, there's not many gods, many lords, many masters. There's only one master, one God, and one Lord. Jesus Christ, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Um, three in one. Jesus Christ the Lord. Um, you can come to Jesus Christ today. God loves you today. There's a plan with um, God has a plan for your life. Um, Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, um, says this, I know my thoughts for you to give you a future and a hope and not to harm you. So God has a wonderful plan for you. <clears throat> Amen. The good news is this that God is that there's hope today. Even if you are away from God, or maybe you're a Jehovah Witness, maybe you're a Mormon, yeah, you know, um, Jesus loves you, you know, you can come to, to know the real and the one and only real God, Jesus Christ, the God of the Bible, <clears throat> you know, and the real truth that Jesus Christ loves you, he died for you, the fullness of God, the fullness of the word of God today, there's hope. And I advise you, you know, to read the Bible, you know, get a key James Bible, read it, find out for yourself what God says. Don't, don't listen to what, you know, your leaders say, whether you're a Mormon or a Jehovah Witness or a Hindu or, you know, a Buddhist or <clears throat> um, God's love letter to you. You'll find out that Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. You can be born again. He came to bring healing and deliverance and restitution and restoration and redemption such a loving god the god of the bible the god of the jews the god of heaven yahweh jesus there's only one jesus christ amen we don't come back again you know the bible says in hebrews 9 27 it is appointed unto men to die then comes the judgment we only get one life that's it you know jesus is god yeah he's 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 not He's, he's God, yeah. He's God incarnated. He's God in the flesh. Jesus is the Holy Ghost, God in three, God in one. The, the Godhead, the Holy Trinity, the Bible is truth. Yeah. Jesus Christ loves you. You can come to Jesus Christ today, even if you're a, a Jehovah Witness, a Mormon. Amen. Maybe you're a Muslim, um, a Hindu, yeah. A Buddhist, a Zenist, you know, Jesus loves you. There's hope today. He died on the cross for you, yeah. He's not mad at you. He's not angry at you. But he wants you to know the truth. And the truth is this, that you must be born again, John 3 and 3. But you can by simply giving your life to Jesus Christ. He died for you. Amen. He's the one and only true God. John three seventeen says, He didn't send his son into the world to condemn it. But through him, the world might be saved. God is a friend to the Buddhist. God is a friend to the Jehovah Witness and the Mormon. And, and God, loves, God loves the person. He hates the sin. He hates 
God doesn't hate you. He loves you. It's it's the sin he does. You know, we need to get that out of our lives and get right with God through Jesus. But he loves you in a special way. Yeah. There's hope today because of Jesus Christ today. And I want to give you hope and show the love of God to you today. That when we were yet sinners, Jesus Christ died for us in Romans 3.23. Romans 5 and 8, when we were sinners, Christ died for us. Um, he showed his love towards us. Uh, Romans 5 and 20, for with sin abound, grace abound is much more. Romans 6, 23, we all know the way to the sin is death, but the gift of God. So God is showing you his love and his mercy today. And you can be born again today. Amen. So you can come out of the darkness into the light of the cross of Calvary of Jesus Christ. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. But the good news is that this Lord, this Master, this God is your friend. He loves you. And he, He's been with you before, you know. And he, he just wants you to come to know Him. He wants to be your friend. And He can by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I love you and God loves you too. I want to give you the message of hope and of love and compassion. Because the Bible says, No greater love than this than a man lay down his life. And Jesus laid down his life for me and you. He laid down his life for you so you can have the abundant life and you can have the eternal life. Yeah, so you don't have to stay that way. You know, you don't have to stay lost and away from God and not knowing the truth. The truth is that Jesus loves you today. Yeah. Galatians 3.13 says, He had redeemed us from the curse of the law, that the blessings of Abraham... So I advise you to come. Matthew 11, 28. Come on to me, all you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy, and you shall find rest unto your soul. Maybe you're weary. You say, I know this guy. You know, it's got to be more than just this. Maybe you're sensing that. I believe it's Jesus Christ telling you that this is not the way. Jehovah Witness, a Mormon, a Muslim, a Zenist, um, Hinduism, you know, whatever, a witch, a warlock, you know. Whatever you sin you may have, adulterer, a fornicator, a thief, you know, not you're not a bad person. You're good, you know, but you need Jesus Christ. And that's him telling you, hey, you need to know the one and only true God. And that's through Jesus Christ. So I advise you to come to Jesus today by simply accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior. Um, the Bible says if we come as a little child, you know, that we, um, we can enter in. We shall know why, so we can come as little children. And accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. People get, they, 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 they trip out when I say that. I say, I'm a friend of the Muslim and the Buddhist and the Zenist and the witch and the warlock and, and the Jehovah Witness because Jesus died for them. Yeah, he, he, he came to bring eternal life to you and reckon, he wants you to be reconciled. He wants to be your friend today. And you can when you say yes to Jesus Christ. Amen. God loves you today. The Bible says this, He loved us because He first, we love Him because He first loved us and He loves you today. And you can get to know this God of compassion and mercy and love and forgiveness and this God of the universe, Yahweh, Yeshua, HaMashiach, the Yeshua, the Mashiach, Jesus Christ today. He made you, He made you, He spoke the world into it. He's the one and only true God. You don't have to spend your time, you know, um, in fruitless error you can come to the truth the bible says in john 32 you should know the truth and the truth shall set you free i advise you to get on your knees say god is you real jesus if you're real come into my life show yourself get the bible read it call upon the bible says in acts 2 21 whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved you can be saved right now amen though you're a buddhist though you're a muslim you know maybe you're, a, you know, you're, 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 you're a Jehovah Witness or a Mormon, and you've been sensing, I've been hearing about this Jesus. Maybe you had a dream and vision. It's time to come out of that and come to Jesus and be born again and get filled with the Holy Spirit and serve the one and only true God. My friend, God wants to be your friend today. I love you, and God loves you too. Amen. I sense that in the Muslim and the, and, the, and the Sikh and the Hindu. God loves you, man. He's not. He died on the cross. He sent his son for you. Yeah. Amen. Maybe you believe in, you know, 
Nirvana and reincarnation. It's not true, but Jesus loves you. Come to Jesus Christ today. Read the Bible. Amen. I advise you to come to Jesus. Um, Jesus Christ is soon to come. It's time to get right. But I just want to display the love of God. And God loves you today. And you can become a friend of God. And, amen. And, and, you know, then you get filled with the Holy Spirit and get baptized in the name of the Father, Son. Get in the water. Find a good church that preaches the Word of God. Jesus loves you. He's, you know, He cares for you. And go to a place of worship. If you can't, get online. Watch some of my videos. I love you and God loves you too. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There's hope. I wasn't always with Jesus. And God loves you today. Yeah. Amen. He cares for you. And I'm a preacher of the love of God. Yeah. He loved me when I was in my sin. He loved me when I was the enemy of God. He loved me when I didn't love myself. He loved me when nobody loved me. <laughs> and God loves you too. He loves you with an everlasting love. It's time to come to Jesus. Amen. Apostle Rudy Henry, for he who saves my life, saves the world's ministries. Um, by simply saying, Lord, I believe you. Would you reveal yourself to me? Would you show yourself to me? Would you come into my heart? I surrender my life to you today. It's that easy. And Jesus will become the Lord of your life. Amen. Remember, I love you and God loves you too. And if you keep watching these videos, I don't mean that in an arrogant way. Check me out. Check out some more of my videos here on YouTube. I think it's on Instagram and Twitter. And you will find the living God. Jesus Christ loves you today. And so do I. I'm keeping you in prayer. Amen. Now, pick up the Word of God, read it, ask God to reveal Himself to you. You can be born again. First Peter 1 18 and 19 says, and let, uh, We're not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, but with the precious blood of the Lamb of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Through the precious blood of the Lamb, you can be um, redeemed today. You no longer have to stay, you know, in darkness, away from God. And, you know, you can come to the one and only true God. Jesus loves you today. Amen. So God bless you. Uh, Apostle Rudy Henry from Fresno, California. He who saves one life saves the rules ministries. Amen. Thank you, God. Revival is breaking out in Fresno. Revival is breaking out in, in California. I believe revival is breaking out on the West Coast. Right here in the, mid, in the Midwest. Hallelujah. The Midwest, the West Coast, I believe revival's breaking out. And it's because, yeah, you know, you hear about these wildfires. I think that's symbolic of the fire of God that's flaming in um, Fresno, California, here in the Midwest and the West Coast. And I believe we're about to see a great move of God in Fresno, California, in the Midwest and the West Coast. I believe that, but I think it's just symbolic. You see all these wildfires. Um, of what God is going to do here in Fresno and California and the Midwest. And I want to say something. I believe it's God, but I, I think I think it's just showing what the revival is going to come. But I want to say this. It could possibly be the enemy. You know, got some great saints in Fresno, great saints in California, got some great people in the Midwest, some great Christians here. Maybe the enemy's upset. But thank God, no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. We pull through every time. You know, so, you know, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today. Jesus loves you. Revival is here. I think revival is going to fan out from the West Coast for the Midwest, Fresno, California. Amen. God loves you today. Remember, Jesus died on the cross for you. You don't have to stay lost in darkness, my friend. God loves you with an everlasting love. He's not mad at you. Yeah, He's not going to destroy you. He's not going to kill you. He doesn't want to end you. He died so you can live. I don't care if you're the biggest Muslim. I don't care if you're the biggest Sikh or Hindu. I don't care if you're the biggest, of, if you're a leader in the church. I don't care if you're a leader in Jehovah Witness. and Amen. Mormonism, Jesus Christ can save you and fill you with the Holy Spirit and fire and show you and use you for his glory. So come to Jesus Put down the way of error and take up the cross of Jesus Christ. Deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow Jesus Christ today. Amen. God bless you. Uh, Apostle Rudy Henry.
Fresno, California, home of the world Grizzlies. But I want you to know this. Please receive Jesus Christ. Read the Bible for yourself. Get into it. Ask Jesus Christ. He will reveal himself. I've heard of Muslims having dreams and visions. I've heard of monks going to hell and coming back and living for God, even though they're in prison. I'm telling you, Jesus is Lord. He loves you. He wants you to be saved. Yeah. Amen. Mormons coming out of that. Jehovah Witnesses testifying. Christ is Lord. God loves you. Amen. Let him in. Uh, Revelation 3.20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open up, I will come and sup with him and him with me. Jesus Christ wants to come in. Would you let him in? Would you let him become your friend? Through the cross of Jesus Christ, you can be justified. He paid for all our sins, past, present, and future. All our sins washed away. All you do is got to confess them to Christ. In 1 John 1 and 9, he's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Amen. Ain't that the good news? He said, He says, if you confess your sin to Christ, amen. Is it true? Of course it's true. <laughs> Muslims getting saved and having dreams, Jesus showing up in their dreams, and Jesus showing up in their homes, and Jesus appearing himself in the street, and monks too, yeah, Buddhists, and my Lord, Jesus Christ, we're in the, he's revealing himself to people, and so they can, he, he's saving the sinner, he's saving, he's saving man, Jesus saves today, and you can be a part of that, and tell the world about the love of God. I want to love you. Can I love you today? Yeah. The Bible says that, you know, that he, for God so loved the world, man. He said, with love and kindness, that he said, mercy triumphs over judgment. I think we got so much judgment in the world today. My God, it's foolishness, even in the church. Yeah. But it says, mercy triumphs over judgment. Yeah. The mercy of God can triumph on your life today. Yeah. Amen. You don't have to stay bound and lost and away from God and false religion. You can come to the one and only true God, Jesus Christ, whoever you may be. You know, amen. You might be a con man. You may be a pimp. Yeah, you may be in the Nostra Costra. You may be in the cartel. I don't know. You may be a hit man. Yeah. Yeah, you hate hey, Jesus. He said he for, he, he can forgive you right now. I heard hit man. Maybe you're a hit man. And say, man, can God say as yes, he can? He can transform you and make you a man and woman of God. Maybe you're a madam. Maybe you're a porn star or a porn director or a porn distributor or my God, gee, maybe you go to those orgies or swingers whatever maybe you're a swinger surely christ can forgive you and fill you with the holy spirit he came to save us and save that which is lost you know no sin you know jesus said this he said if you're guilty of breaking one you're guilty of breaking them all maybe you're an alcoholic or a fornicator or homosexual or lesbian or transgender i'm talking to everybody my God, Jesus said, whosoever will. You know, the marriage supper of the Lamb. He said, go into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in. My friend, Jesus is calling everybody. <laughs> the backslider. Maybe you're backsliding on your way to hell. And you're hearing this and say, man, I got to come back to you. Yeah, come back to the Lord. You ask God to forgive you. And you heal, you don't have to backslide no more. Jesus loves you. Yeah. Amen. Uh, maybe you sell guns. Maybe you're in the black market. Yeah. Maybe you're in the, you know, seriously, man. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe you're in the chop business, stealing cars. And, amen. Maybe you're on the deep web. Yeah. Can I, can I, can I tell you that? Maybe, maybe you work for those people. Maybe you're one of them. Maybe you come on the deep web. There's people who do. Yeah, they work for those people. My friend, God loves you. And if he can save the prostitute and the people in the mafia and, and drug dealers and liars and thieves and gang bangers, and the, if he, he can save you too, wash your sins away. And you don't have to do those things anymore. You can bring life, no longer death. My friend, I love you and God loves I, I don't mean that. I'm not joking. Maybe you do. Say, man, maybe you're involved in those illicit, those 
dark things, you know. But my friend, God loves you, and surely he can. The infantile beloved of God. God loves us all. He, he made you, man. He said, he said this, I know the number of your hairs are numbered. He sin is sin, my friend, yeah. You know, maybe you're a rapist, man. Damn, maybe you're a child molester. I don't know. Maybe you're a serial killer. You can get saved, yeah. You know, to say, Lord, come into my life. Begin to read the Bible. Begin to walk with God and commune with God and fellowship with God and lay those things down and let God change you. Be a child of the light. I love you and Jesus loves you too. Please allow Christ to come into your life. There's no hopeless case, my friend. If God can save me, he can save you. And he surely will if you just call on him. Uh, Hebrews 13 and 8 says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. I've done too much. I'm too much of a sinner. I've done too many dark things. I, I'm too involved. And no, there's no such thing. God can get you uninvolved and make you a mighty man and woman of the living Christ today. I've seen him do it. And surely he will. Remember, God loves you and call upon the name of the Lord. You begin the process, begin your walk with God and let God wash your sins away, put them behind you and fulfill the will of God in your life. I sense that again. I, I feel revival. And I want to say this, them wildfires, I think it's only a sign of the fire that's stoking in Fresno and California and the Midwest. And I believe it's a sign of the move of God that's about to come to Fresno, come to California, come to the Midwest. I think the enemy's mad at us. <laughs> We've got a lot of great Christians and a lot of great people in Fresno and California, Midwest. My God, we're impacting the world for Jesus Christ. And we're doing a lot of good things here and in the Midwest. My friend, would you pray? Can I pray, Lord? I pray that you fill them with the Holy Spirit that you meet their need, that you save them and sanctify in Jesus' name. Amen. I felt that years ago when I felt the wildfires. I've been preaching in the streets of Fresno, California, and there's no place like Fresno. There's no place like California. There's no place like the Midwest. I, I born here. I still live here. I live in Fresno, California. I preach here. I minister here. I witness here. These, this, My family's here in I've been in these streets since I was 16. I'm 43. I've been preaching 25 years in the streets of Fresno, California. And I'm going to tell you something. This is the call of God that's on my life. Yeah. I wouldn't want a guy, you know, if I had to go to Rome, I would go to Rome. This is my call. And yeah, there's a very strong anointing. Man, no place like Fresno, no place like California, the Midwest. Revival is going to, uh, as stoking, it's going to break forth and change the world. A lot of great people here. Amen. God loves you. A lot of great churches. A lot of great ministries. A lot of great families in Fresno and California in the Midwest. Hey, it's all good. Jesus loves you today. <laughs> you can count me in. <laughs> I've been preaching these streets. I've seen a lot of miracles out here. and Count me in. Amen. Thank you. Jesus is the Son of God. He loves you for God so loved the world. Greater he that's in us than he that's in the world. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, people like to say a lot of bad things about California, a lot of bad things about the Midwest of Fresno. But there's a lot of good things going on, and there will continue. And keep us in prayer. I say to Fresno, I want to say to the church in Fresno, keep praying, you know. Amen. God bless you today. I love you and God loves you too. Apostle Rudy Henry, for he who saves one life saves the world's ministries. I will continue to preach these streets here in Fresno, California. I'm 180. I had a dream one day of me being 90, almost 100. I was walking around preaching the gospel and God said, that was you. I was. That's the call of God. And maybe that's not. That's my call. I'm going to stay out here and preach. Man, my Lord Jesus. Rudy ain't going nowhere. He ain't getting rid of me. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Praise God. I love to get out here and tell the people good morning and fellowship with them and pray with them and just be a part. Guys, take a walk. It's a beautiful thing. God loves you today, and so do I. Amen.